What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime Pack here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an absolutely monstrous mini PC known as the Intel NUC Dragon Canyon. They do make a couple different variants, but this one was actually sent over fully loaded by Simply NUC. We've got an Intel Core i9 with 16 cores and 24 threads, an EVGA RTX 3080 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So I definitely want to give Simply Nook a big shout out for letting me review this, but I think the coolest thing about getting my hands on this is they're actually giving one away that's an exact replica of the one we're going to take a look at in this video. So yeah, Simply Nook is partnering up with Intel to give away a fully loaded Intel Nook 12 Extreme. This is known as the Dragon Canyon, and they're also going to be throwing in a Cherry Mouse and Keyboard. We'll take a quick look at that in a second. But if you're not familiar with Simply Nook, they specialize in all things mini PC, from business applications to gaming PCs. Obviously, we've got an awesome little gaming PC here. They were founded in 2015, and their headquarters are right here in the United States in Round Rock, Texas. And yeah, they're going to be giving away an exact replica of the one we're going to be testing out in this video. And right off the bat, just judging by the specs, this thing is going to be able to run anything you throw at it. All the information you need to enter is linked in the description. They are the only ones that are going to contact you. Nobody will contact you in the comments of this video if you're a winner. This is all going through a third-party giveaway site known as Gleam, and there's several ways to enter. And along with the fully loaded Intel NUC 12 Extreme, they're going to be bundling it with a Cherry MX 3.0S gaming keyboard and a Cherry MC 3.1 gaming mouse. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, all links are in the description. And again, I can't stress it enough. If you are a winner, you will not be contacted in the comments of this video. There's a lot of scams going on right now. Everything's going through Gleam. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the unit. This was codenamed Dragon Canyon. It's also known as the Intel NUC 12 Extreme, but we're going to be referring to it as the Dragon Canyon. As you can see, I've pulled the side panels off here. We've got an EVGA GeForce RTX 3080. And like I mentioned, we've also got an i9-12900 in this unit with 16 cores and 24 threads. And one of the coolest things about these NUC 12 Extremes is all of the magic really happens in the compute element. So it's located right here. We've got the CPU, RAM, and some M.2 slots for extra storage inside of the compute element. This can actually be fully removed if you need to, or you can just pull the side panel off. And as you can see, we've got our RAM slots and two extra NVMe slots here. That way you can add storage pretty easily. But since we have such a small form factor unit, you will have to remove that GPU to get here. We've also got some RGB on the bottom. We've got that Intel skull on the front, which is also RGB lit. This can be controlled from software or the BIOS. When it comes to the specs of the unit we're taking a look at in this video, for the CPU, we've got that Intel Core i9-12900. 16 cores, 24 threads. We've got a max boost of 5.1 gigahertz on the performance cores and 3.8 gigahertz on the efficiency cores. We've also got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 3200 megahertz, and this is in dual channel a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, and for the giveaway unit, it's going to be using an EVGA GeForce 3080 Ti XC3, but I've got the EVGA RTX 3080, so on the giveaway unit, it will have a little bit more GPU power. And for the operating system, this is running Windows 10 Home out of the box, but you always have the option to upgrade to Windows 11, or you can install Linux if that's your thing. All right, so here it is. I've got everything set up. All my drivers are updated. I've updated the BIOS on the NUC 12 Extreme. I've got some games and emulators we're gonna test out. And obviously this is gonna be a very snappy system. The 12700 is no joke when it comes to just everyday performance. It's definitely overkill for everyday performance, but this is meant to be a gaming machine. One thing I really like about these NUC Extremes is the NUC Software Studio. If we've got RGB, there's usually some kind of software in here where we can adjust everything. We can adjust the front skull, we can adjust the power button LED, and the ring around the bottom. I'm just going to set it to rainbow here. Bunch of different modes to mess with, and we can actually do this from the BIOS also. And if you're not into RGB, you can always totally disable it. We've also got a performance section over here. We can go to low power. As you see, it takes that power level 1 down to 35, power level 2 to 109. We can go to balanced max performance, which is going to set that power level 1 to 65, or we can go totally custom with it from the BIOS. We can also control the fan from here. We can set up a custom fan curve, or we can just set it to quiet, balanced, or cool. For my test, we're going to be in max performance mode with the fan set to cool because I want to get the maximum performance out of this unit. So first thing we're going to do here is jump right into a game. Let's go with God of War. And here it is. So right now we're at 4K. Actually, let me go to the settings and show you exactly what's going on here. 
no DLSS. We've got that completely off render scale, 100% 4K, and we're at ultra. So we've got this game maxed out here at 4K, and it will run over 60. We actually get an average of 72 FPS out of it. And this is exactly how I'd want to play the game. I would personally probably just turn V-Sync on and have a great time with it. But some people, you know, want to play this at a higher frame rate, and that's totally fine. DLSS with this game is absolutely amazing, especially on these higher-end RTX cards. Back to the settings, we're just going to turn DLSS to max performance. This is like the lowest we can go with it. This will give us the best performance out of it. And we now get an average of over 100 FPS out of this game. And to tell you the truth, I don't notice much of a degradation in graphics quality, at least on the monitor I'm playing with right now. It still looks absolutely amazing. And you know, if you want to run it over 100 FPS, you can always set it up like this. And yeah, it is super smooth. But now let's go ahead and check out some benchmarks. And the first one on the list here is Geekbench 5. Single core, 1,826. Multi, 13,626. Absolutely amazing single and multi scores out of this 12,900. I also ran Cinebench R23, and with this unit in performance mode with the fan set to cool, we got a total multi-core score of 16,078. Looking great, but let's go ahead and move over to some GPU benchmarks. We've got 3D Mark Fire Strike coming in with a score of 33,038, and the next one I ran was Time Spy, and we got a 16,579. Just judging by the CPU and GPU scores here, it seems that this little PC is basically going to be able to run anything at 4K Ultra, but we definitely want to put that to the test. So let's move over to some more PC games. And the first one we have here is Dirt 5, and no matter what I test this on, it always gives the hardware a run for its money. But with this setup here, we're at 4K, no scaling whatsoever, ultra high settings, we get an average of 82 FPS out of this game. Amazing performance, and for those of you who've tried to test this on a lower end system, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a harder one to run. Next on the list, we've got Elden Ring, and we're totally maxed out at 4K, so we've got the maximum settings going here, 4K resolution, it looks great, and you know, going into this, I kind of expected it to run it at 60 FPS, so obviously it's totally playable here, and this game looks so good when you're set to maximum settings at 4K, it's incredible. I always like to throw at least one fighting game in. Here we have Injustice 2, maxed out from the settings, so we're at very high settings or ultra settings, 4K, it's not going to go under 60 FPS. You could run it like this all day long. And finally, we've got Cyberpunk 2077, and initially I went into this just totally maxed out here with RTX set to ultra. It wouldn't run it at full speed set to ultra. It was getting an average of around 54 FPS. Then I turn RTX to high, we got an average of 58. It would go over 60, but it just wasn't a steady 60. So here it is at 4K with RTX set to medium. The game still looks great. And by the end of this run, we had an average of 72 FPS. CD Projekt Red has done a great job with these new patches. So yeah, when it comes down to it, the Dragon Canyon, otherwise known as the Nook 12 Extreme, set up like the way we have it here in this video, is the most powerful mini PC I've ever tested in this form factor. As you saw, we can run anything at 4K Ultra, and I kind of expected it to. That 12700 has those 16 cores with a boost up to 4.7, plenty of CPU power, and with an RTX 3080, or in the giveaway unit, an RTX 3080 Ti, you're just going to have enough GPU power to push anything you need with this unit. I will have two more videos coming up on the channel using the Dragon Canyon. First one will be uh, a dedicated emulation video. I got a good feeling it's going to handle basically everything at 4K, but I still want to get it out of the way. I know a lot of my viewers will be interested in seeing something like that. And I also want to install Linux on this and see how it performs with Linux gaming. So if you're interested in seeing videos like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know when I post the next one. And if you're interested in entering Simply Nook's giveaway, links are in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.